Hey guys, now let's do the next step. So the next step is going to be taking the, um, the sides and marking measurements to make the lines to make it look 3D. Now this part's a little tricky. You could certainly freehand it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna measure. I've already done this side. So whatever I do, you're gonna do it once and then stop the video and do it again. So what I'm gonna do is on the outside edge, I'm gonna make intervals, but they're gonna be a little tricky. I'm gonna measure one inch and half an inch. One inch and half an inch. So here we go. I am directly lined up at the bottom corner. I'm making a mark at one inch and then a half an inch. Okay, so I've moved one inch and then a half an inch. The next line has to be one inch away. So between one and a half plus an inch would be two and a half. So I'm making a dot there. Okay, so now I made one inch, one half an inch. Now I made a dot at an inch. Now I need to make a dot at half an inch and then one inch. Now once I get an inch away from the middle, I'm going to pause and do the other side. The middle is a little tricky. So here we go. I'm going to go on the other side. I'm going to measure one inch and then one half inch. One inch, one half inch. One inch. Now I have this big gap in the middle. I don't quite have enough space to do the pattern again. So what I'm going to do instead is make it at, um, let's see, so this needs to be one quarter inch, so a little bit smaller. So it's a half of a half, one quarter inch, and then right here, one quarter inch as well. Right, let's see. Yep. Perfect. Now I'll put a dot right on that center. Okay, here we go. So now what you're going to do is you're going to stop the video, rewind it, and repeat it on the other side. Okay, exactly the same. What I'm going to do now is show you the next step. So now we're going to draw 